There's some chamboys over here. I have no idea what they are, but they sound like they burp whenever they mate. Do the mate. Oh, oh there's one. I heard one. That's chamoy. Must be further down the hill. Yeah. You know what a track is? Evidence you're not alone out there. Humbling, eh? Why is she so weird? Who? The lady on the radio. Oh. No idea. Your gun is doing weird stuff when you walk. What's it doing? It's bobbing in and out of your hands, and your hands are very still. Huh. <laughs> Little do you know, I keep my gun and my hands in separate cycles. I've identified, I think, what my next stupid purchase oh. is going to be. What? What the fuck? What? What? I see thing. Oh, there it is. Hold on. Blast it. Good shot. Maybe. I missed. Oh, but you got it good, though. But I, I know what my next stupid purchase is going to be. Oh, boy. I'm going to get me one of them semi-custom 1911s. Not a full custom, because that's like four grand. Right. You know, that's that's a lot. That's that's a lot, a lot. So what, like a Dan Wesson type thing? Uh, In, in the neighborhood. Because cause your, your shop standard ones are like, you know... Well, right now the prices are outrageous, but they they used to be like you know six hundred to a thousand, mm -hmm. and then the semi custom ones where they have their you know performance center, yeah. uh, whatever. Ooh, right in the ass, right in the ass. Nice. The performance center ones, you know, like your your top of the line Springfields with all the bells and whistles, or your top of the line Colts with all the bells and whistles and stuff like that, um, or uh, even even something that's rolled off of you know Smith and Wesson Performance Center, or the Ruger Performance Center. Yeah. Um, any of those guns are like you know a thousand to two thousand, mm -hmm. and that's the semi custom because it's still an assembly line. You know, yeah. Um, but it's, it's, very it's very nice part. Very nice parts on the very nice assembly line, operated by the very old men. And then you get the uh, the the custom guns are one gun, one gunsmith sort of stuff. Where you know yeah. that's like that's like Nighthawk Custom, Wilson Combat, um, Ed Brown. Obviously. I think a semi custom nineteen eleven would be nice. I, I ordered a pair of holsters because uh, I got my CCW for the state. So, nice. I'm 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 I I'm getting a holster for my Python, but I also work for my 586, and I have a holster being made for my 1911 or a 1911, right. whichever 1911. I know a lot of guys carry Glocks nowadays, but I I, I really don't want to be in a situation where I have to use a gun and I've got 18 rounds in it. <laughs> Because then you just start squeezing and the, and the fun just don't stop. Yeah, that's the, it's it's a lot easier to say I shot six than to say, uh, yeah, I, I kept shooting like crazy. I saw a gun the other day, but I, I didn't think you'd want to come in here to buy it. What is it? it? It was, it was a, there were two pocket carry pieces that I know you could pull off. Um, uh-huh. One was, and these are actually kind of rare, one was a Colt 1911 and 38 Super, but in the Commander oh. frame. Okay. 38 Super is like 9 mil on crack. Uh, that was 700, believe it or not. Okay. That, that would have been a good buy, because those right now used are going for 15 hundo online. Um, the other one I saw that was kind of cool was there was a guy who had a Colt Pocket Hammerless in 32 Ooh. that was all blued and looked new. And the guy was like, 700. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, get your car. Come on, we got a race. Oh, sweet. We can't even see the trails because of the clouds. Hell yeah. All let's right. Let's see. We went uh, west last time, so let's go north. Yeah, let's go. Let's see. Which way seems the most perilous? Uh. You know what? This way seems the most perilous. Fuck all right. Hold on. We got we to we gotta stance up. We got to pull up. We all got to. All, right. all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, right. there's a pond uh, th that I guess you can see. Let's aim for that. All right, let's go. Go. Go, 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 go. go, 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 go. Ah, ah. No. Oh, fuck. Oh, God, I'm oh, sideways. Uh. Oh, shit. Oh, I, oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, my God, where'd you go? <laughs> I'm winning. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you went to another plane of existence. 
goodbye, Braves. Oh, shit! Oh, God, no! Oh, God. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna hit the lake. I win. I hit the lake. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, that is too uh, That is creepy how I died. But yeah, the, the 9x23 Dylan, uh, you know how like, uh, 45 will push 400 to 500 joules of knockdown bang bang? Yeah. 9x23 Dylan out of a 5 inch barrel will do 900 to 1000. Jesus. Yeah, and one of the rounds, or one of the one of the pistols that it is absolutely at home in, is in a 1911 because they're all steel and they yeah. eat and they eat recoil. Um, so the guys who used to do the big board competition would use those and just fucking kill it at IDPA because it's a really hot round. So they uh, just put a almost like the uh, sounds almost like the FK Brunel. Yeah, yeah, except without having to. It, it, yeah. Except it doesn't cost five grand. Well, I mean, okay, let's say you, you, let's say you have limited gun storage and you make a lot of money and you, you know, you live in like a nice city or whatever and you, you can have yeah. a few nice toys and you're not a motorcycle guy, you know, you're, yeah. you, and you don't have a trophy wife and you're not into expensive watches. I can understand an FK Bruno. I can understand owning a machine gun, which, yeah. you know, uh, I do. But the, the thing is, is yeah, I can understand that. Now... My problem with it is I can't take it apart because there's no spare parts. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's a problem with you get a gun that's a one-off, you know? It's it's just one of those things of, well, what if I want to caliber swap? What if I want to, you know, do this or that to it? And it's like, fuck you. It's it's one company. And it's it's not like it's perfect. It's not like Korth where it's all the gun you need and don't touch it. Mm -hmm. But no, dude, 38 Super, I was like, oh, Catch would like this. And then they, I went back and he had sold it. Damn. Yeah. No, dude, 38 Super is a hot fucking round. You know why they designed it? Uh, no, I don't. In the 1920s, they were trying to sell the law enforcement a handgun caliber because, you know, 45 back in the day was slower than it is now. But a lot of cops were carrying 45s and a lot of cops were carrying 38s. And uh, there was this rise. There was this huge rise of what were called motor bandits. You know, like Bonnie and Clyde and shit. Yeah. So they said, hey, you know, John Moses Browning and Colt and everybody got together and they, they were like, hey, you know, what if we made a handgun cartridge that could be built into the 1911 frame, but it could go through car doors? <laughs> So, 38 Super was designed to penetrate the protective vests that existed back then and car doors from back then. And they used to test okay. it by taking cars and saying like, look, let's pretend these are motor bandits and then just shoot the bejesus out of it with these guns. Mm. It's it's a little snappier than 9mm, uh, but 38 Super what? is redonkulous. Yeah. I kind of like see the 1911 as the Glock of the early 20th century. Mm -hmm. A lot of aftermarket, a lot of parts, a lot of ways to build it. Yeah. God, I almost jumped on a Makarov on Gunbroker earlier this week. Bulgarian or real Russian? Real Russian. Ooh, that would have been nice. Pr practically new in box, excellent condition, all the holsters, spare magazine, yeah, and everything, and they wanted seven fifty. Oh, that would have been a deal. That would have done it, but then they said USPS money order on only. I'm like, fuck you. Actually, I I know where you can. Uh, they're down right now. Their website's down right now. But I know a place where you can get smoking gun deals, dude. Really? Smoking gun deals. Um, go to www. And this is gonna sound stupid. Guns. Yeah. Dot com. Yeah, I think you told me about. That. Yeah, dude. I I okay. I went on there because I wanted to take some of my money out of stonks because I've been watching my stonks do nothing. And I wanted to invest in guns because guns always go up. And tell me, you know, there's there's been plenty of times in your life and in my life where I was like, God, I wish I'd bought that gun because now that gun is three times as much. Yeah. So I, I was like, I'm just going to buy some guns. Oh, turkey. Hold on. Okay. Let me. Oh, fuck. <laughs> was that the 10 gauge? Yes, it was. <laughs> Jesus, look at all the blood! <laughs> you shot all the blood out! Oh, wow. Yeah. How many pellets hit? All of them. Let's wait for Tex to get up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we gotta get together. We're a team. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Oh, oh, shit. Alright, here we go. No, no. 
hold on. It's it's a little squirrely. All right. All right. All right. And on Damien's call. All right. Yeah. Three, two, one, die. Uh, Hawkman. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> no. Choices are made. Yeah, stop. Start. Oh shit. <laughs> 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 I wish I could see what the hell they were laughing about. No! Oh god. Yep, choices were definitely made. I'm alive somehow? Your scooters are still screaming down the hill making noise? Fuck it, I'm getting another one. <laughs> oh my god. That was insane. This is... This is horrible. Tech still isn't died. We have to get to him, Damien. Let's go! Yeah, I'm running on foot. You can't catch me. I'm too fast. I, I really like the idea of... Of 38 Super. 38 Super is a cool round, and it's always in stock because 9 mil disappears, 45 disappears, 357 disappears, 38 Special disappears, 40 Cal disappears, 10 millimeter kinda. The 38 Super is used for boomers and Ipsic shooters, and that's it. And you can't even find normal 38 Super anymore. It's all plus P. Ooh. And do you know why? Because back in the day, there used to be a cartridge called 38 ACP. And uh, when they started putting 38 in 1911s and made it a defensive round, they realized that uh, the defensive loadings they put in these things would blow the old guns up. So all of the manufacturers of modern 38 Super just started calling it Super Plus P. Just to show you cannot use it in those old guns. But it is a hot, hot round and it will go through everything. People have basically said, think of it as a less expensive 9mm plus P in the 1911 platform, and it cycles well in it. I'll have to keep an eye out for that. Dude, 38 Super is a hot fucking gun. That, and you know, when you're talking about concealability, snub revolvers or medium frame revolvers with good holsters, you can't, you can't just belt that on and be like, Rawr. Or Glocks with good holsters, you know, again. Yeah, especially if you get like a single stack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has to be a good holster. Or uh, the classic, just 1911. I'm not sure how much you know about like the history of Dan Wesson, um, but since we were just walking through the woods, Dan Wesson was founded by like the grandson of, you know, mm -hmm. well, there was Daniel Smith and Horace Wesson. Yeah. And, and the grandson ran QC at Smith and Wesson. Uh, he was the quality control director. And that's when Smith and Wesson revolvers were like top fucking tier because the guy was super OCD. So he was, he was quality control up until the 60s. Then All he right. started his own company, you know, Dan Wesson Firearms. And he started, you know, they started building their own revolvers and they just built really high quality revolvers. But then uh, the company changed hands hands like three or four times and then at a certain point they got it in their head to start a 1911 line okay. and and when they started a 1911 line dan west and 1911s are basically built by cz and it, it yeah. cz started i think building them and then they rebranded it under dan wesson and they're known for being pretty good 1911s um like you know better than just you know bog standard ones but the thing that's interesting is the guy who set up their 1911 line started his own company because he's like well if i can set it up for a big company i can set it up for a small company and just pocket all the fucking money mm -hmm. and so he started a company where you can go in and just pick parts and they'll build you a semi-custom 1911 for like half the price of wilson combat so they including any caliber you like to include <laughs> 9 by 23 dylan or 38 super or 10 mil or whatever. You know, they actually make a, um, what is it? You know, uh, Browning stopped making the high power. Uh, yeah. but they make a 380 1911. Huh. And at first I was like, that's dumb. But then I thought about it and I was like, well, if you had thin hands and needed something to conceal, that wouldn't be a bad that's gun. Not a bad idea. No, no, no. I mean, just cause it's, it's, it's slim, right? And if you had thin little, like, girly hands, n no offense. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, sorry, we're, we're, we're just talking guns and walking through the woods in the hunting Tiger game. Hands. Yeah. <laughs> but no, like, if, if you have tiny little hands, and in basically, I held one. It's like a three-quarter scale 1911. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's kind of cute. I mean, dangerous, but cute, you know? <laughs> yeah, like, like my, uh, my bullpup. See, I'm surprised you didn't say you'd carry that as a concealed handgun, but I think you know why, and that's because it's yeah. weird on ammo. Yeah. 
I mean, granted, I can just buy Hornady Critical Defense and it'll run fine, but that little, like, niggle of, but it's so complicated and it jams easy, it's so complicated, it jams easy. Right. It's just... Well, it's it's uh, it's, it's it's why I got rid of that CZ75 <laughs> Omega I had. It was... Um, I had the trigger go dead with the first magazine, and I took it apart, and I found out that their new trigger design was flawed. And I was like... <sighs> can't ever carry this i don't trust it you know and it's 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 one of those things where you change that one little thing and it's a little fucked up and you know mm -hmm. uh -uh. no not not yeah. me yeah if i do carry the uh the bond arms it's a backup backup well yeah i mean that's that's your that's your boot gun that's your like yeah <laughs> maryland man strikes again <laughs> blah, 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 blah. no i'm i'm thinking i i've had some dumb ideas uh, I was I was thinking of things I can transfer my full auto seer to. So, what if Mister Tex built himself an HK fifty one? That's the belt fed one, right? No, belt fed three. No, no, one. that's the twenty one. The fifty one was not an actual HK designation. Some guy in America came up with it. It's it's where you take a G three, right? And, and cut the barrel down, and you make it MP five sized. Oh my god. Yes. Oh my god. You Do know, it. You know you want that. Yes, it'll be so dumb. And, oh man, all those dicks at the range with their AR <laughs> pistols and four chamber breaks. Yeah. You get to be King Dickus. Yeah, I would I would have to find the most aggressive compensator, you know? I'd just be like, uh, what's... <laughs> excuse me, sir, I would like to purchase a Loudner. <laughs> yeah, a Loudenser. <laughs> Uh, this water might be too deep right here. Maybe, 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 maybe. Yeah, it's too deep. I ran across. What the fuck? Yeah, I just... <laughs> I can't Qu swim. Stop. <laughs> oh, no. The Black oh, Pants oh, Legion ah. inaugural <laughs> hill race. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh God, no. Shit. <laughs> I went past Tex. Holy shit. I don't see it. Where is it? Right up here and there should be a shitload of goats. See if I can see. Oh, fuck, it's right in front of me. Oh, shit. Die, bitch. <laughs> Dude, I, I, I shot it with bird shot. <laughs> Tell me how many pellets hit. All right, let me, let me check. Oh my god. Uh, yep. Uh, 21 hits. <laughs> god. Pretenderized. We're hunters. Rudd is my best and most favorite phase of developing. What? Rapid, unplanned disassembly. It is <laughs> the best part of building a new thing. Just fall apart. Kaboom. Yeah, we used to call that problem in gunsmithing, box of gun. Someone would walk into your workspace and they would always look really nervous. And I'd be like, did you bring me a bog? And they're like, what? And I'm like, box of gun. They'd be like, oh, I was trying to disassemble it and I can't get it back together. I think it's broken. And I'm like, okay, well, let me get the instructions and then put it back together and uh, charge you $75. There are people do that, but they actually did straight up break it. Uh, yeah, they, there there are some people who'd break it. Like, a guy couldn't get it back together, so he attacked a part with a Dremel. That was fun. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> there, there, it's... I, I made the Capellan joke in the Rifleman video. There are some people who are very smart and clever, and there are some people who are very determined. <laughs> you might as well have real-life experience. This, this fine piece of machinery of steel and wood that I, I disassembled with fingers and tools, I can just put together if I use another tool and carve something out of it? Yep, I've wow. also, I've also seen the uh, guy try to do a trigger job quick, and he didn't know what part needed to be uh, worked on, so he polished everything. That was fun. I was like, somehow you have made a fully automatic 1911. This is an unregistered <laughs> machine gun. <laughs> Yeah, I, I returned it to normal operational status. 
it's it's it was not intentional um but yeah it, a sec it, like people think slam fire is cool and all until they have a gun on their shoulder and they accidentally touch one off and um that's that's when I go yeah that's why that's not good you you do not want to accidentally a 12 gauge uh, there's there's a lot of genies that are hard to put back in the bottle and 12 gauge is one of them I mean, I know some people think Slam Fire is cool because they saw some YouTube videos on it, but in, in, in practicality, you can shoot just as fast with training. Uh, and if you doubt me, go watch people do open clay shooting where <laughs> there's no such thing as Slam Fire allowed and people will hit like 18 clay pigeons in four seconds. You can train yourself to shoot that fast. If you can play Diablo 2, you can shoot fast. <laughs> And if speed... Give us a day what Slam Fire is. Slam Fire is the principle of operation in any firing mechanism wherein the action will close and as soon as you return it to battery, it will go off again. So in a pump action shotgun with a Slam Fire option or malfunction, you're looking at a shotgun that as soon as you close the pump and ride the trigger, it will fire again. Dude, if I was paid to hunt like this... I would be homeless. You'd be like, you can't afford bullets. And I'll be like, I'll be out in the trees with a club. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. And, you know, stop, no free acceleration, because that would be cheating. And, all right. Okay, Marilyn Man is coming to? down the mountain. 100. Okay. We don't know. Oh, shit, avoid that bump. Oh, oh. Oh, my. I <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> shit. It's a line drive. <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> <is 4K laughs> Does that count? Yeah. He's gone off the map. <laughs> what? What? One point four. One point four kilometers. Hell yeah! Whew. Catch a bolt. <laughs> that's that's a winner. That that's, happened. That's a winning score right there. <laughs> well done. What do you win? Okay, I'm just gonna go again. Just oh, oh, God. Game? Yeah, this is a yes. hunting game. Oh God! It knows physics as well as you do. Yeah. <laughs> All right, come on, Damien. Give us, give us one more. Give us one more. All right. Da, 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 right. Da, I, got, da. I got measuring stick. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Texas new score is three thirty. <laughs> My guy's pointing up. He's pointing in the direction he died. Yeah, we tried, Catch. Yeah. Yeah. Forget. But you you can't dick chain somebody in this game? Пришло время. Я вижу твое желание. Твоя цель здесь. Иди ко мне.